Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and if you're new to the custom loop world of water cooling then you'll know how daunting it can be. Just figuring out how many fittings you need, what kind of tubing, is the reservoir the right size, is the rad the right size, there's I don't know, quite a few complex issues. Now, Thermaltake have actually got you covered here with the M360 liquid cooling kit. They actually say that everything you're gonna need for a custom loop is inside this box. So let's open it up and find out. So starting with the box, as we mentioned, it is the M360 liquid cooling kit. And actually on the front of it, they do kind of show you exactly what comes included. So if you're looking at this inside a store, this is gonna be really handy because you're gonna know that you're gonna get your fittings, your uh, pump and res combo, the uh, PETG tubing, your block, your fan, your radiator, coolant, and everything else that you need. Now a nice little touch as well, is when you open this up, again, it just shows you a little bit more detail about uh, what's actually included. So to start with, yeah, we get our C-Pro fittings. Uh, we get the normal sort of uh, quarter inch PETG 16 mil uh, compression fittings. We also get some of the 90 degree angle adapters as well. We get a tubing with a silicon insert, a 24 pin bridge to jump start the pump, the pump and res combo, which is a D5 pump, a real D5 pump. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. You get the coolant as well, uh, fan, radiator, everything that you need. Uh, so everything's looking pretty promising. Now up here, they also show you all of the components separated out and how it would actually look in a custom loop. So this is just a general design but obviously this is going to be dictated by your your chassis so let's open it up and see exactly what it's like inside so opening it up we can see inside firstly that we get an instruction manual so this just basically talks through how to dismantle the fittings because if you haven't actually seen the c-pro fittings they are a patented design and they actually have four o-rings in there apparently they are leak proof and just looking at the quality of them from the sort of offset they are actually amazing tells you about radiators and in making sure you have a clean loop flushing out and rinsing your radiators but on that note uh, a friend of mine mick from mayhems uh, the owner of mayhems has actually tested uh, the thermal tape radiators and he's actually said it's the cleanest radiator from the factory he's ever seen. So yeah, really interesting to sort of know that and yeah, it'll be interesting to sort of see. Other than that, just gives you an installation walkthrough on an example of the core P5 chassis and exactly how to fit everything together, how to fill the system, all that good stuff. So inside we do get some protective packaging. And then we get all of the various components. So I'm not going to bore you too much with some of them because obviously you would have seen them before. But we have the Ring 12 fans. These are RGB fans. Um, we've used them before in other builds, actually with the P5, I think. Uh, other than that, 256 colors, customized LED effect. Um, just a really, really nice fan. Quite quiet as well, uh, which is always a good thing. We have our silicon tube insert. So this is when we can actually come to bending our PET G tubing. We've got the silicon insert. Um, obviously it does seem quite thick for what it is, but we are using 16 out of diameter, 12 in a diameter, I think thermal tape use. So yeah, this is gonna be perfect to run inside the tubing and just get everything nice and bent up uh, into shape. So more sort of protective material. They've actually gone quite out, uh, sort of all out when it comes to the protective foam and stuff like that, which is really nice to see because the last thing you want is either a smashed reservoir or a dented radiator, anything like that. So really nice to see. So we also have the tubing. So they actually give you, these are 500 mil in length. There's four of them in total. Yes, yeah, 16 out of diameter. So I've, I'll be honest, I've not actually used Thermal Take's uh, PET G tubing. So this is gonna be a new one for me when I actually come to use this stuff. But it looks like every other PETG tubing out there. There we go, here's our PETG tubing and we'll probably end up getting some B-roll uh, sort of close up of this stuff as well. Um, I typically use acrylic myself, but some people prefer acrylic, some people prefer PETG, so it really depends on sort of personal preference. Um, I find acrylic can be, I don't know, a little bit more forgiving. Uh, and especially yeah when it comes to heating it up and things like that which we'll probably do another video based around sort of yeah heating it up and actually bending the tubing as well because I don't think there's enough people out there doing this kind of stuff and you know doing the guides and things like that so I'm actually going to move this box ever so slightly out of the way so I've got a better view of kind of what's going on 
Uh, CPU block. So this doesn't come with a GPU block. I have got one that I am going to use in a build that I'm doing, but this is a CPU block. So it's the Pacific W4 RGB. Uh, it's the same uh, one that actually comes with their plus kit. Now there's a difference between this kit and the plus kit and mainly it comes down to the RGB plus software that allows you con to control all of the RGB functions. So you can't actually use the RGB plus software to control this, but it is exactly the same CPU block. Uh, it just means that it has to go into the hub instead of straight into the motherboard though. Yeah, if you've got like an Asus motherboard, you might want to control it through um, sort of, you know, so everything's synchronized up. You have to do it all through the hub. So inside here, warranty, uh, please read before installation. So they highly recommend that the user run pre-installation tests outside of a PC. Kind of makes sense, yeah. Especially if you're kind of new to liquid cooling and custom loop stuff, you may want to actually run this outside of a, a build first. But if you're going to do that, then you're going to be probably wanting to use soft tubing because you don't want to get all your bends and I don't know, kind of have it here, there and everywhere. So it's a bit of a, a weird one to sort of, you know, explain that. Um, Pacific W4 RGB tells you about the CPU water block, exactly what comes included in terms of the part list, how to fit it all together, how to put it in. And then inside we have the block itself. Now, there's one thing I want to talk about with the M360 and typically all of Thermal Tech stuff because a lot of people actually said this to me when I told them I was getting this. The fact that their radiator is aluminium or for our American friends, aluminum but the CPU block and um, the GPU blocks and things that Thermal Take sell are all copper, but they are nickel plated. So that's where you can kind of get away with having mixed metals. So yeah, a little bit kind of different. Um, there's obviously a big hoo-ha, especially when it comes to like using pastel fluids and things like that, but Thermal Take actually have thought about this and got it covered. So, and as far as I know, they're also working on their, their whole new range of C1000 pastel. So yeah, this is the block. As you can see, it's quite a, kind of low profile block, uh, but really, really nice. It's got this ring around the outside, which is obviously for the RGB. Uh, and then it's got your inlet and outlet on here as well. They're not actually labeled inlet and outlet. So, and it doesn't look like it's actually gonna matter on here. So from when I've used other uh, brands such as Alphacool, they specifically have an inlet and outlet because of the, the way that actually uh, the block is machined and how it flows. So that's actually really nice if you can use both because it just gives you a little bit more freedom when you're actually planning out your loop. Uh, other accessories and stuff is just all of your stuff for fitting. So obviously you do get the controller hub as well. You can control the brightness, the mode. Uh, you get a little sticky pad in there as well and customize it. And then you get all of the various fittings, fixtures, the back plate, uh, depending on obviously what uh, socket you're using, whether it be AMD or whether it be Intel, you've basically got everything there to kind of get you going. So let's try and put all that back in and move on to what comes next. So next we have, let's get this out of the way. So we've got the fluid itself. Uh, right, so this is the C1000 Pure Clear Coolant. So as I said, they are looking, uh, from what I've seen on sort of social media, they are looking at actually bringing out new pastel fluids, but there's nothing stopping you just sticking some dye into here and sort of, you know, changing it into something else. But for now, pure clear fluid is going to be perfect, especially if you are going down the RGB route that we're, we're actually going to be doing with this build. We're going to be going for sort of full RGB inside the level 20 GT. So clear fluid kind of makes the most logical sense. Let the RGB do the talking instead of the, the coolant itself. Let's put that to one side and see what else we get. More packaging material. Um, normally I'd moan about the amount of packaging material, but I'm actually really happy they've done this. The amount in there I know that everything's going to arrive and it's all going to be, you know, as it should be pristine and, and everything. So here we have the radiator. So this is the RL360. As I say, they do a plus one, but um, Thermal Take have actually thought about that because there's going to be certain people out there who maybe have the 360 mil, but they want to have kind of the plus um, look to it, I guess. So what they actually do is they sell just the plus strip, which goes onto the side of the radiator, which is really, really nice. The fact that you can buy that afterwards and then sort of, you know, upgrade your system without having to buy a whole new radiator. So inside here, you get some stopper fittings, you get some screws and everything for the fans, some washers, typical stuff that you'd expect with a radiator. And that's it other than the radiator. So we have obviously more instructions. So please read before installing. Uh, again, tells you to sort of build it outside of a chassis, but I don't think that really works with hardline tubing because yeah, it's just not going to. Otherwise you're putting it into your system to get all your kind of, you know, measurements and uh, get all your bends and everything. And then you'd have to take it back out of the system to do it. I, I don't know, maybe someone's got a better solution. Uh, other than that, it tells you exactly what you get included as well. 
and then we have the radiator itself. So they do a 360 kit, they also do other size kits as well. For the build that we were doing, we wanted a 360 kit, and I already have another one of these radiators as well. Um, but yeah, really light, considering it's a 360 and it is quite thick as well. I'm not even sure what the thickness is on these. Uh, on this one, it's 64. So it's 64 uh, in terms of thickness, which is a fairly thick radiator, especially when you're considering 360. But um, obviously level 20 GT that we're gonna be doing, this is gonna be perfect. There's plenty of room for it. We're gonna have one sitting in the front and one sitting in the top, hopefully, depending on if we can get all of our bends and everything, you know, uh, how we want it. Overall, the quality seems pretty good. Uh, like I say, it's quite lightweight considering it's a 360 because it is made out of aluminium. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. I'm gonna flush it anyway, but um, based on sort of what I've heard, I, I'm not gonna recommend that you don't flush it, but I think from what I've sort of heard from other people is flushing it isn't really gonna do as much as it would for say some other brand manufacturers out there who make radiators. So just sort of, you know, keep that in mind that especially if you're using clear fluid, you might not need to flush it after and stuff like that as well. Some people prefer, yeah, doing a flush before, doing a flush every time they change their fluid. But, you know, I think a lot of it comes down to what color fluid you're using and what type of fluid and all that kind of good stuff. So that's that. Now we also have really, really handy is a 24 pin bridge. So what it's actually done is it's a 24 pin ATX connector and it has this little cable connecting the, uh, the live and the ground. And essentially what it does is it allows you to connect it out to your power supply, which will be connected to the pump and it will allow you to turn the pump on without kind of turning on the whole system, having the CPU heat up with no fluid in there, you know, that kind of stuff. Handy when you're actually filling up the loop and trying to get it to run round, you know, if you, especially if you've got quite a long loop, you might not get to the CPU and the core components that need cooling down while you're doing it because obviously you've got to let it drain without the pump going dry and then sort of fill up at the same time. It's just handy to have this. For something, you know, quite cheap, I'm really glad that Thermal Take have actually included that. I know other brands do as well, but it's just a nice thing to have. So other than that, we will get to the pump and res and everything in a minute, but we have lots of fittings. So fitting wise, these are the C Pro fittings. So uh, what they actually give you is some 90 degrees, which let's just rip them out. So they give you some 90 degree fittings, which I will admit they look a little bit like a tap, but they are just, just feeling the sheer weight and quality of them. They feel absolutely amazing. And I've heard really, really good things about these. So these are rotatable 90 degrees. Um, yeah, just not really much more I can say about it. They have a little thermal tape logo on it as well, which is a nice little touch. And they do come in various colors. So we've got the chrome, there's black and stuff as well. And then the other fittings, actually before I get to that, they give you a little spanner and everything as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, but the other fittings, which are just your kind of standard compression fittings. Yeah! So you get your standard fittings here. So as I said earlier on with the C Pro fittings, they have got a really unique kind of design when it comes to um, the washer system. So that's actually the base of it there. So it's actually quite small. You've got a little thread on here and you've got a little thread on there and then there is a washer kind of in place there as well. But then once you take that bit out, you can see we have kind of this inner collar. So um, here's kind of the, the collar to go on the outside. But then on the inside, we have another rubber washer. Then there's a little metal washer in there as well. If I can get that out. I mean, these are in there well and truly. And then there's two other rubber washers inside. So essentially we have four rubber washers and then this little kind of metal collar, uh, which allows the, the fourth rubber washer to sit in. I mean, this is just fantastic. I absolutely love the design of this. And like I say, the build quality and everything as well is just astronomical. So getting that back in is just a matter of lining everything up and then screwing it back down and screwing it round. Job done. Last thing that I want to talk about is obviously the res and the pump. So these actually come as a combo. I'm going to move this box out the way because I really am running out of room now. So let's move that out the way and move over to the pump and res. So depending on how your system is going to be laid out, you might want to have a pump, you might want to have a res. Thermal Take have decided to go with a pump res combo. So this is the Pacific PR22 D5. Now, a lot of water cooling brands out there, mainly sort of the cheap Chinese ones and the knockoff ones and that, will brand um, a D5 pump as a D5 when it's not actually a D5. So um, a fake D5, I guess you call it. So we spoke to Thermal Take and they said, no, no, ours is a real genuine D5 pump. 
So we'll probably do a video based around different pumps. So, you know, we VPP, so you've got like DDC, D5s. Um, it all comes down to sort of, you know, how much, how fast they can go, how much noise they make, all this kind of stuff. So we'll probably do another video based around that. I don't know if there's something in the end. Okay. Yep. Jesus. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about, if I put that to one side, is what comes included. So you get various screws and washers and cable ties and padding and installation instructions, everything you need to kind of, you know, tell you what you need to do with it. But the thing that I love is the amount of different mounting brackets and whatnot that they send you. So you've got various different styles. So these ones are obviously, if you're gonna have it kind of standing up, right? So with these ones, you can kind of have it like that and it kind of sits in the middle, which is, you know, nicely held up. But they also give you uh, the ones that, if your chassis permits it, you can actually sort of lock these um, around. So I'll try and show you. This is the pump res itself, which is a nice size. Looks quite sort of chunky, good quality. Uh, but yeah, what it allows you to do is actually clip this on like that. So it can kind of free stand there to a certain degree. So yeah, you could just mount this into your chassis. Like I say, it depends on the chassis itself. Uh, but yeah, this is your pump and res. So um, I'm not actually sure if it comes apart. Probably not, I'm guessing. Okay, it probably comes apart, but probably needs like the Hulk to do it. But yeah, it's a D5 variable pump. Uh, on the end, it has a Molex connector, which is a little bit disappointing. I would have liked a different connector because I absolutely cannot stand Molex connectors. But overall, everything seems, you know, really, really nice. I'm wondering if the top, yeah, okay. So the top comes off. So for whatever need you may need to do, top comes off. Uh, you've got the little filling port there and everything as well. So filling up your system should be nice and easy. Straight away though, I'm gonna tell you the quality of this feels absolutely amazing. Uh, so we have two ports on the top. Um, one has just got like a little plastic connector on, one has got an actual metal stopper, and then there's one on the side as well, and that is it really. So would have been maybe nice to have another port coming out because depending on the type of loop that you're gonna do, you may wanna sort of come in the top, out the side, but then you may want a drain port somewhere as well, and there's nowhere to really have it. So you'd have to stem off into a drain port. Uh, the way that I'm going to do it is, yeah, I'm going to fabricate something. So yeah, I need to sort of plan out my build. Like I say, all of this stuff is going to go into the level 20 GT, which we're doing a build with very, very soon. And I'm going to kind of leave it there really, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you do like this type of video where we kind of, you know, do it a bit more spitballing, free range, kind of just showing you what we've got. Uh, we are obviously going to build this into a system and then we're going to do a video for that as well. So that's why there's no kind of performance results or anything like that right now. This is really more of an, I guess, an unboxing, but sort of showing you, you know, how sort of easy it is if you are looking at doing custom loop and what the quality is like and things like that as well. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Click that like button. Remember to subscribe. Comment below as well and let us know, like I say, if you like this type of video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Open Gangnam Style. Open Gangnam Style. Sexy lady. Apparently, everything is inside to kind of get you on your go. Get you on your go. <laughs> what does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs>